Aloha! Top of the morning, friends and family. We're pulling a clutch of eggs today. I know, believe it or not, another clutch of eggs. It's just happening. If this is your first time... I'm helping! Yeah, and she's helping. If this is your first time to the channel, we upload beautifully edited cinematic masterpieces to this channel. But this video is uncut. And as I already mentioned in today's uncut, we're pulling a clutch of snake eggs. Let's look at the dad first. I don't I don't show the dad enough here. T, you hold down the fort over here, okay? I'm gonna go grab I'm gonna go grab the dad and you just you just hold it down. Tell the people what's up. Okay, people. Now we're gonna hold we're gonna look at the dad right now. He was huffy. This is Mr. Pink. This is the first ball python that we ever hatched out here at Triple B way back in the day. So, yep, there's Mr. Pink. He's the dad. He's an Enchi Lesser Pos Het Sunset. But when are we going to see the mom? Oh, we're going to see the mom right now. Good question. Hey, all right, people. We're going to see the mom right now. I'm going to see if the, the, the eggies we can pull out of the snakes. You know what, T? You gotta teach your brothers how to be as entertaining as you are when I walk away from the camera because you're killing it. Okay, uh, man, she is tightly wrapped. Check this out. This girl, her name is Garkia. Wow. And I named her Garkia because, well, she was a gift from Miguel over at Always Evolving Pythons a while back. It was actually when I got my camera stuff heisted and he sent her to me so that I could, he said, go ahead and sell her if you want. And then. Put some of that money towards his camera equipment, but uh, I was like, I can't sell that snake. I can't sell a gift like this. Um, so I didn't, and she's here. Now she's got her first clutch. She's sitting on it, and she's huffy. Listen, T. You, you, listen, listen. Let's grab her eggs. Yeah, we're gonna grab her eggs. So <laughs> she's got a tight wrap on those things. We are still planning to do a, uh, you know, ball python hatching out the eggs and leaving the snakes, leaving the snake eggs with the ball python mom. Not with this girl, though. It's coming up, I promise. This one we're taking. And all right, do you, you think we're ready to take the eggs from this girl? So she is a Mojave Cypress. So we've got potential for white snakes in this clutch. This will be our first clutch ever that we have the potential for white snakes. My understanding is that Lesser and Mojave makes some of the, one of the whitest of blue-eyed leucistics out there. And so that'll be cool, but it'll also be interesting to try and pick apart the Enchi and the Cypress and any of those white snakes. It'll be my first opportunity to have to use a black light on babies to see if we can see any patterns. So that'll be cool. You can look forward to that. And I think it'll just be a fun little grab bag. It's going to be Paz Het and, you know, and all this stuff. So pretty cool. Let's see what we got going on inside those coils there. You ready, T? Mm-hmm. All right. Freedom Breeder Rack Shelf. Freaking get you one, bro. All right, T, here we go. You spin, I will I will pull the eggs. Are we ready? I'm ready to pull an egg. What's up, mama? What's she, up? She is so tightly wrapped, it's amazing. Get that tail out. Give me your tail, mama. Don't want to flip it. You got it. Oh, they're, they're in a nice, tight ball. Dude, we're just going to plop that clutch in just like that. What's up, mama? Y'all empty? Y'all good and empty? Yeah, she yeah. seems nice and empty. And those little snakies are warm. Those snakies are warm, huh? She's doing a good job. You're a good mama. You're a good first-time mama. I'm You're a good girl. <laughs> I'm going to put her in that little holding tub, and then we'll we'll get a little move on. Uh, where's it? Oh man, my holding tail is blocked by the camera. Okay, so move the camera. Duh. Good mama. That's a good mama to you. What do you think? Is that a good mama? Uh huh. Okay, good mama. Let's see what we got here from the good mama. Some slightly mottled eggs. What we got? One, two, three, four, five, six. Good eggs, T. Six good eggs. Yes, pulled them off each other. We're not going to pull them off each other. They're perfect right now. Look at them. See how they're all in a nice, 
perfect little bunch like that, mm -hmm. this might have been actually a good candidate to leave mom on the clutch. How tightly wrapped she was. <sighs> but that's not the one we're going for. So, T, I'm going to let you take these eggs out and put them in to the incubator box, okay? Mm. You ready to do that? Well, hold on. Let me get the incubator box ready for you, okay? Mm. And I'll put the eggs down a little bit lower so it's easy for you to get to them, okay? okay. I'll put these down here. And we're going to leave them all, since they're all so nicely stuck together, we're going to leave them all together, just like that, okay? Okay. And then we're going to put them up into then this egg. Then when the baby egg. snakes hatch, we'll take them out. <laughs> what? Then when the baby snakes hatch all the way, we'll take them out. That's exactly correct. Then put them where the baby snakes are. Yeah, this is going to be a shorter video than I thought, because we're not going to have to candle any eggs. They're already up, right? If the eggs are all in one little bundle like this, then I, I just like to leave them together because the embryos will have it adhered to the right spot since the mom didn't roll the eggs all over the place. We'll just leave them there like that and it'll be okie dokie. All right, T. I love you, pull them out, make, baby. Say it again. I love you, babies. Oh, perfect. Now grab them real gentle from the bottom. Make sure you don't drop any. Put them right inside the tub here. Beautiful. Perfect. Good job, T. Thanks, Dada. All right, I mean, shoot, that's, that's the best thing i ever seen. <laughs> it's the best thing you've ever seen? Mm -hmm. That's a pretty good thing I've ever seen. I mean, it's, it's, that's a pretty nice clutch right there. It's, uh, that's good looking. I love that. I wish every clutch was just. People, if there's more eggs, I will put them in a box. <laughs> T, you're a professional. I... I'm super happy about this clutch. Six good eggs. We're still on our zero slug One, streak for the entire two, season. Still not a single three, slug all season. Four, five. And there's one hiding underneath too, so there's six. I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. A freedom breeder racks? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, that one hiding in the little bottom. This is beautiful. I, I kind of wish that all clutches. Came out like this, just all together, nice little perfect thing. Just plop them in. I'm trying to stick that to there. You want to stick this to there? Yeah. Here, how about I'll take it over here. You roll it out. Okay, so go ahead and un unroll it all the way across, okay? Yeah, you got to come from underneath. Okay, so it unrolls that way. Yep. Yep, two hands. And pull it. Pull it that way. No, you got you to gotta roll it like this and pull it this way. Okay, keep pulling it that way while you unroll it. You gotta pull the whole roll that way. And unroll it this way. And pull it that way. You unroll and pull. Unroll like this. And pull that way. Keep going. You getting it. There you go. There you go. Good job. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. All the way to the end. Oh, oh, oh. Don't hold on too tight with your thumb. You gotta pull it out so it unsticks. Keep going. Oh, oh, don't pull too t too hard. You gotta just keep rolling it, just like you were doing. You're doing a good job. Just keep pulling it towards you. Unrolling it like this. You gotta unroll it that way, T. Unroll like that. <laughs> I'm gonna help you, because you're being kind of doofy. Perfect. Let me get our little slicer. Watch your fingies. And a slice. Nice, slice, nice. A nice slice, T. A perfectly nice slice. Whoa, 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 don't stick your fingers in like that. We gotta keep it nice and flat. And then stick, just run along the edge, just like this. All right, I'm gonna put the lid on. I wanna put the lid on. You put the lid on, T. There you go. You gotta push this down. There you go. All right, boom, ready to go in the incubator box and we set it and forget it, we'll call it good. Good job, T, good teamwork. All right, we're champions, I'm sweating like a pig. All right, I'm all whiskeyed up. Um, and can I put the edge in there? Um, you have to keep them very flat and there's kind of a lot of obstacles in the way, so let me help you, let me get all this stuff out of the way. And then I'll, uh, you can put them in there, but I'm going to just kind of help you out and make sure that you got them correctly so we don't accidentally spill them or tip them or anything weird like that that we don't want to happen, okay? Y'all, yeah. take care of yourselves, take care of each other. Thank you for tuning in for 
Well, it's not going to be our last egg pulling video of the season. I like to capture all of them because it helps it keep a record for me as well. I can go back I and be like, I think it's me helping. And I like tea helping, so that's fair. I'm going to end Basically, this Basically, it's him. What? Basically, I like helping with him. And I like helping with her. So it works. We're a team. You guys take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. We'll see you on the next video. Aloha. When there's more snakes inside eggs, we'll pull them out. I mean, I will. And of course, I, we got it. And, and of course, I got to put these eggies in there. Oh, and don't forget to just pull the eggs out carefully and set them in the box. Um, and the sea, yeah, when you have, when we're gonna pull more babies eggs out.